What is happening guys? Jason here in beautiful Chiang Mai. I'm here on the rooftop of my guest house right now and this is my first full day in Chiang Mai and I'm thinking to myself what's the first thing that I should do in Chiang Mai? I've heard a lot about temples, about markets, elephants, but I've also heard a lot about the food and quite frankly I am starving right now and I've heard about this particular dish it's called Khao Soi it's a Chiang Mai world famous dish it's like a crispy uh, egg noodles uh, curry soup so I ordered it on grab the reason why I ordered it on grab is because I tried to have a walk around here in my local neighborhood where I'm staying they don't really have this Khao Soi dish around here from what I've been looking around so I ordered it on grab and this is my first time going to try Khao Soi so uh, let's give it a try guys this is the view from my rooftop here at the guest house I have bought some coffee from the co from the cafe downstairs it's called Belove 70 baht for this one this one was also 70 baht I did buy the uh, plastic cups uh, pl sorry plastic uh, uh, oh my god what do you call it uh, uh, plastic bowls oh my god I can't even talk today uh, and I got plastic forks and plastic spoon I bought that from 7-eleven because I don't have any uh, dishes and stuff in my room they gave me extra crispy noodles but this was total 70 baht and uh, this was 70 baht as well so 140 baht for this too and uh, with a view like that man for free you don't have to pay for this this is included in your guest house nobody up here as well let's give it a try guys all right got the cow soy it's my first time trying it I've heard it's a little bit spicy but uh, let's see you know how I go with uh, non spicy stuff I can't eat with uh, the chopsticks that's the reason why I bought these uh, these forks so apologies in advance but let's give this a try oh wow It's actually really nice. A bit of a spice to it, but well, the one for me, anyway. It's more like an Indian sort of curry type soup, but. Mm. Oh wow. That crispy noodle is so good. Oh man. Wow. This is actually so good guys by the way I got this with beef so cow soy beef look at this beef man this beef looks absolutely amazing it's very very juicy as you can see look at that oh man oh my gosh I'm gonna try this beef here oh shit Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. That is incredible. Wow. Holy crap. I'm very, very impressed with this one. <clears throat> my favorite is the crispy noodles, guys. That noodle is so good. Wow. I'm going to try and add some crispy noodles, noodles to this. We got some more here, so I'm just gonna rip open this bag, guys. Like, there's no point, you know, what these are. If you've ordered Grab, you're in Thailand. I, I, I can never bloody open these ones, man. I'm just gonna rip it open with the fork. There we go, adding a bit more of this crispy noodles. I don't want to overload it. Holy shit. Holy shit balls, man. Alright guys, I've just come out back to my room on the balcony to eat this because it was getting way too hot up there um, with the sun. It's in the middle of the afternoon, so but I'm just coming to finish this off, man. I, I've got to say again, this is just absolutely incredible. Uh, this might be my new favourite dish in Thailand. I just am spewing that I didn't get here earlier, that's all. <laughs> mm. oh, man. My 
family probably watching this like damn last year like one year ago you weren't eating all of this food all of a sudden you go to Thailand you're now eating all this curry and these Thai food and what can I say guys I'm a changed man <laughs> I also got a shout out <clears throat> this coffee place here Bulov that's their logo I ordered an iced latte 70 baht not the cheapest in the world but this is actually really good coffee guys one of the better coffees that I've had in Thailand I, I gotta say Chiang Mai so far from what I've seen my first impressions is that it's definitely a very big coffee scene here in Chiang Mai just from walking around the street here in my local neighborhood there's like three or four really good quality coffee shops that I saw from the outside this one especially very very impressive and uh, this is just in my neighborhood I, I haven't gone to the old city yet or or uh, um, Niman, the Niman district. I am looking forward to going to those places, but oh my gosh, guys, this is absolutely great coffee mixed with great food. Oh. Life is good here in Chiang Mai. I'm enjoying my time here so far. I'm, I'm only one day in, so um, it's living up to the hype, it's living up to expectations, and uh, I look forward to the rest of my trip, guys. This is just my first impressions around this neighborhood. It's very, very busy. It's a local Thai neighborhood. So there's not too many um, English writing, it's all Thai language everywhere. So, um, But other than that, man, I'm very, very happy with where I'm staying. This guest house is great, the staff are very friendly, they're very accommodating, they'll help you out with anything, any questions that you have, especially for me, like a first timer here in Chiang Mai. So, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd try this cow soy on the very first day that I'm here in Chiang Mai. And I'm very, very impressed. I, it exceeded expectations, like honestly, like very, very good. I'm at the most famous spot in Chiang Mai, guys. The most photographed spot in Chiang Mai. This is called Tapei Gate over here. And uh, we've got lots of people here today. As you can see, there's the gate right in the middle of the city over here. Uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous day today. It's a Saturday around lunchtime. It is a long weekend once again. The thing I love most about Thailand, guys, is you got a lot of long weekends, man, over here. Very, very lucky. It was just a long weekend last week. You had like Father's Day. So over here, it's just, man, you guys are so lucky. And then you got New Year's coming up in just a few more weeks as well. So, my goodness, just extraordinary. Over here, got a little bit of a map, Chiang Mai as well, for your reference. But overall, guys, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place. I'm gonna do a bit of a walk around the Tarpe area. Again, I hope I said that right. But uh, we're gonna take a bit of a walk along here. Lots of people selling some stuff on the floor here. There's just a lot of cars around here, guys. It is busy around Chiang Mai, man. If you are in Chiang Mai, guys, this is the time to come. Complete different, completely different to what I'm used to just the last few months being in Isan, man. Oh, over here, you got this nice little Nice sort little of water area. We're just outside of the old city walls here, but look at this. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I'm gonna take a bit of a stroll along old city today, so looking forward to exploring that over here, guys. So let's. Uh, Let's go through Old City again. I appreciate all the suggestions you guys have given me over on Instagram. If you haven't followed me already on Instagram, follow me at Jason's Journey too. And uh, you can follow and be the first to see what I'm doing. I post directly on my stories and, and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, if you haven't followed me there, go give me a follow guys.
see if we can cross the road without without dying, guys. Oh my god. Alright, good, go, 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 go. Alright, we're good. Looking for some cow soy today, guys. Let's see if we can find some, but if I uh having a stroll along the way and I find some spots like this one. Can have a bit of a walk through. Wow, it's gotten all quiet all of a sudden. Check this out. This is where I currently am right now. Wow. Look at this one. Not even three or four minutes in and I'm already seeing temples <laughs> my goodness look at these birds making a noise Oi. what are you guys doing? No. don't want to talk to me over here a lot of these statues around here and again it is a just a gorgeous day today guys the weather is absolutely spot on I'm gonna take this mask off man it's bloody hot around here bloody hot <laughs> sorry birdies again this is quite a beautiful area it's a very small Sort of temple, but I go. What's around here? I don't know. There's nothing down there. Dead end. But yeah, look at this one. Wow. Beautiful. Tremendous. This is all for free, guys. All for free. Just come and walk in. What's up guys, Jason here on the streets of Chiang Mai. I ran into another YouTuber here, John Canton. How you doing man? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> not too Great bad. Great to meet you. <laughs> yeah, thanks man. We're just walking along uh, the streets of Chiang Mai and I run into a guy also vlogging and I'm like, oh, let's put him in the video. We subscribe to each other and uh, man, got to get the community growing there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Great yeah. to meet you. <laughs> and uh, from what I understand, you live in Chiang Mai. The last yeah, I live in Chiang Mai. Yeah. yeah. A couple of hours out of the city. Beautiful. Uh, coming to Chiang Mai, make videos every now and then. Yep. Yeah. All yep. good fun. <laughs> what do you think of Chiang Mai? It's all, it's all good? Yeah. You? Yeah. One of the best places in the world. Yeah. yeah. Definitely come here if you can. Yes, but not during the burning season from what I've been told, right? Yeah. <laughs> Avoid the burning season. It's, Avoid uh, the burning season, guys. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Number one tip in Chiang Mai, don't come in the burning season. That's like March, around March. Around time. March, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Not worth it. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. But I'll leave John's channel in the description box below. So go and check him out. Go subscribe to him and uh, let's grow the community, man. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. How cool is that, guys? Running into another YouTuber here in Chiang Mai. So, so cool. But um, look at these beautiful, beautiful streets, man. This, this is my first time uh, walking along here in Chiang Mai, but look at these, this greenery, this old style. It's just incredible. These hotels, man. There's hotels, tour guides, thing everywhere. It's quite incredible. Quite incredible. Look at this one. Oh, moly. Spa shop over there, day spa. But, uh, oh my gosh, guys, this is truly incredible. Man, look at this. What I really love about this place, guys, is you can just walk around freely to all these temples, not be bothered. It says men only. Discrimination much. Look at that. Look at that temple guys. That is incredible. I mean I'm just completely blown away. This one, yeah. What is this? No entry. Look at this place, guys. It is so beautiful around here, man. Oh, gosh. Kind of lost for words, yeah. All these bloody temples around here. 
You can just freely walk down. I mean, oh, holy crap, what is that? What is this? It's like a Cambodia style temple over here, man. What is this? And what I can't believe is that there is nobody, barely anybody around. That's what shocks me. Being a long weekend and um, you know, Saturday as well, like there's nobody, barely anybody. I can imagine this place would be packed full of tourists before COVID hit, but guys, this is the best, best time to come to Chiang Mai. And look at that. I mean, that's just insane. Can you actually walk up here? I don't know if you can walk up here. Can you? No, you cannot. It says do not climb. That is just gorgeous. Everywhere you look, man, it's just something, something new. And look at this greenery. I mean, it's just... I don't know, guys, to me, I definitely get like Bali and Singapore vibes from this place. I really do. It's quite hard to explain, well, unless you're here, like, it's just incredible. Ah, beautiful. It's starting to get super, super hot right now. I'm sweating buckets, as usual during the day in Thailand. I'm just amazed that there's hardly anybody here. <laughs> Buddhist Manos manuscript library and museum over here. Not too much into museums, so I'm not going to go in there, but if you guys are interested, there you go. Holy crap, you got elephants up here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm just just totally lost for words guys look at that look at that I don't know why I'm whispering but I don't know I just feel like I'm at a temple I'm like I have to be respectful but guys this is just I'm I'm incredibly lost for words and there's just nobody around, like barely. My gosh. <laughs> what does it say here? All kinds of liberty are bliss. Hmm. Very true. Let's see. Keep calm and carry on. I intend to, don't worry. I mean, look, we're just coming up to these just incredible gems over here, man. Like, wow. I mean, look how incredible these places look, man. Look, look at the presentation. Look at that. You know, sometimes, guys, I just gotta think to myself, is my life even real? Like, is this even really happening to me? Like, am I really living in a country like Thailand right now? Which has been one of my dreams for so long. Those that, of you that are very close to me, that know me, you know how much I love this place, Thailand in general. I consider it like my second home. Well, this is my home right now for the last year. Uh, I'm just totally sometimes just have to take a step back and say to myself this is really my life like I'm really living here for almost a year and I'm just constantly in awe about this place like this you know Chiang Mai I've never been to Chiang Mai before I've been coming here to Thailand 
every year almost for about seven years and I've actually never been here to Chiang Mai. This is my first time. So I wish I came here earlier. I definitely do, definitely regret not coming here sooner. But I'm so glad that I came here right now because this is just an incredible city, guys. Just being here for the last three or four days, uh, my gosh, like there's just so much to see and um, I definitely need to extend my time here. I've got no other choice but to extend my time here uh, for another week or so. So um, even that might not be enough to be honest with you. But uh, I'll probably be coming back here at some stage before my time in Thailand comes to an end. But guys, I highly recommend a visit to Chiang Mai. But as I said, I just wanted to touch on brief thoughts like coming here and you know, you often have to like take take a step back, take a deep breath and say, holy shit, this is actually my life. Like. Yeah, it, it sometimes gets me a little emotional because of how much I've manifested this but it just goes to show you if you are manifesting what you want on a daily basis you manifest and keep staying positive you will eventually get your desired outcome man keep praying don't lose faith you'll eventually get what you want whether it's a new car whether it's a new uh, house or coming to travel you know it's you'll eventually get there and it's it's definitely not easy um, there's definitely times when you know you, you often doubt yourself can I actually do it and and you know you you'll you'll get a little complacent sometimes but um, you'll eventually get there with hard work man with hard motivation constant motivation you will get here guys so I'm just completely happy to be here in Thailand I feel so safe here like I've never felt unsafe being here in Thailand um, I just feel completely at home. There's no other way to describe it. I feel more safe here than in my own country and that's just the honest truth. There's so much uh, going on back home and it's not just now but even before like you know you notice just walking down the street at night you know over here you can do it at, you can walk at all times of the of the night at all times of the day and you feel completely safe. You can leave your bag uh, unattended whilst you go to the bathroom or you can leave your bag unattended at the beach and no, nobody will do anything like you don't have to worry and um, I'm, I'm not obviously saying to do that all the time but you know I'll just use caution with that but as, as with everywhere in the world but here I feel more safe than in my own country and that's just the honest truth I'm sorry to, to you guys who who, uh, <laughs> who are in back, back, back home like my family who are thinking of that but um, that's just the honest truth if you are if you have not come here if you have not spent enough time here you will not you will not know how how completely safe it is and um like with all places in the world just use common sense but i mean i i yeah i'm just completely in love with this place man and i've been here a year and i don't want to leave like coming up to a year now and i just don't want to leave i can see myself staying forever but i know that's obviously not possible right now but you know one day man one day you never know maybe i can get a job here maybe i can uh make this a uh, semi-permanent home you know who knows uh, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens you know never never say never but I'm just very very grateful to have spent this time here in Thailand guys highly recommend checking out Chiang Mai I mean, look at this area guys lots of shade over here got a cafe down here I'm often uh, changing it up with the cameras from the GoPro to the iPhone from the iPhone to the GoPro so you'll often see that But, uh, wow, guys, look at this. Check out that hotel, guys. Guys, second time I'm having cow soy, man. That's my view, just alongside of the road. Oh man, I love this dish so much. Mm -hmm.